Hey folks, it's Grimwit. This is Subnautica. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I will beat the teeth off of you. Alright, that's it. First, I'm gonna skin you. Then I'm gonna scan you. Fins. Let's grab a breath of air. Oh, peeper. Oh, crap, I lost him. Oh, there he is. They drop their teeth, huh? I wonder if he tastes lean and gamey like a Chinaman. I guess I could repair him. Yeah, look at that writhing action. Beautiful. He didn't like to hold still, even when dead. Hey, Gary. Oh my god, Gary. You're just the delicious I was looking for. They can drop teeth as an item. Noted. That reminds me, food. I wonder if fish are depletable resource. Like, do they not grow back? That kind of thing. Hmm. Maybe. Come on. I'm gonna eat your little fishy. Gotcha. All right, who did that? Stalker. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Hey, we have a letter. Uh, or a thingy. This is an automated distress signal from LifePod 4. Coordinates attached. Since planetfall, Pod has not sustained damage. No crew members have disembarked, and zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommend investigation. Huh. I now have two. Whoops. Uh. Things happened. Okay. Let's eat something. First, we're going to eat Gary. Then we're going to gnaw on a boomerang. And then we're going to shove a giant eyeball into our mouth. And finish, finish off with Australian cuisine. That last joke was racist. Mm, Gary's delicious. Okay. We need lubricant. It's really quiet. And that's the sea glide. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's that's very big. Let's put that into slot 5. And I have rotten grapevine for some reason. Hmm. While I'm here, we have some items in log. 
Self scan, already did that. Did that. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. We can make plants for power? The Sea Glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your own safety, please pack supplies for long journeys. And always stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Hmm. Well, that was a weird noise. Did that come up? I hope not. Let's read. Acid Mushroom. A common spore-bearing fungi species with developed defense, defense mechanisms. The flesh contains highly acidic compound which leaches into water if the outer skin is penetrated. Fluctuations in the local water pressure may also cause it to shrink. It's not clear which predator species necessitates such extreme countermeasures, but with acid mushrooms, numbers suggest it has successfully deterred most of them. Assessment. Inedible. Applications in batter battery fabrication. Here's a rabbit ray. Rabbit. Rabbit ray. Oh, it's kind of cute now that I get a look at it. All right, let's see. An herbivorous aquatic life form with highly poisonous flesh. Poisonous flesh. Large and without other defensive mechanisms, the rabbit ray appears to have evolved poisonous flesh to ward off predators. Undulating wings. Main method for steady, steady transportation. Diet. Grass. Kelp. Hmm? Oh, has it? Oh, acid mushrooms explode when you hit them with a knife. Cool. Inedible, but harmless. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These old Terra ships. They run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's going to have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Sorry, frustration open and close. Where was I? All right, beeper. God, this thing is disturbing. A fast prey fish encountered in large schools in shallow waters. One, developed sight mounted eyes. Oh, side mountain eyes. Well adapted to recognize and flees its many predators, also rich in protein. The eyes are. Don't. Don't, don't know how I feel about that. Two, powerful fins. Edible rapid acceleration and ability to leap meters out of water. Three, beak. Likely to break down corals and tough vegetation. Reliance on visual identifying predators may leave it vulnerable to low light environment. Assessment, edible, delicious. I need to find land so they rescue me. Um, nah. See, that's, that's the twist. What if I don't want to be rescued? And what if I don't want anybody else to be rescued? What if I'm the saboteur? It was me. It was me all along. All right. Boomerang. An herb herbivore encountered in large numbers found to frequent the shallow waters and move in schools. One, serrated teeth. Suggest adaptation for grinding coral. Two, twin fins. Usually, this species' two fins are a cartig... Okay, I'm going to work on this word. Cartigolin... Cartigolous extensions of its skeleton, less prone to damage and harder to grow back. More active during daylight hours and prone to flee on approach. Good. I know that these things show up during the day. Good to know. Carnivores. Stalker. A streamlined predator with... With developed intelligence and strength, encountered in the kelp forest, in weight of prey, leaving the safety of the shallows. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. One, head. An elongated snout can deliver huge bright pressure to larger attackers, but also used to, great, 
to get small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rocks. That makes sense. Retinal layering on the eyeball suggests adaptations for nighttime hunting. 2. Dorsal ridge. These ridges can be moved independ or can move independently to deliver s superior maneuverability. I beg to differ. 3. Pelvic fins. Long and powerful, the stalker has evolved to hunt even the fastest prey, but not me. Neutral pathway, no, I'm sorry, neural pathways indica indicate innate ability for rewind-based learning, evolutionarily explaining it unclear at this time. Rewind, oh, reward-based learning. I, I need rewind-based reading. Attracted to metals will fight fiercely over its hoard. No explanation available for this behavior. Further research required. Prey, peepers, and other small herbivores. Assessment. Coerce or avoid. I wonder how to coerce. Coral. Purple brain coral. A permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms. This coral species has adapted to filter carbon dioxide from its environment to use the carbon to build a colony and expel the oxygen from specialized exhaust funnels. Exploitable. Um, no, I don't really think it's that big. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. Do I have water on me? No. All right. I'm below 50% water. It's time to start thinking about water. And salt. Water and salt and salt and water. Oh, that's right. We Oh, you're right. This thing does go through power, like, really quick. Okay. I'm going to need some backup. But I'm going to need a backup battery. Just in case, I'm going to need to hit one of these. Sure enough, it explodes, but it also gives me more per. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to need air, and I'm going to need a bit of titanium. I have plenty, but um, just in case. Is this debris? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to need an air sac. I need some water. Basically, I need some f food and water for these long, long thingies. Long thingies. What are you? What, what are thingies? Gary, come here, Gary. Oh my God! How? There we go. And paper. And I would like another bladder fish. Um, maybe another bladder fish. Like, two for now, two for later. What's up, dude? Don't get started with me. I eat lions. Ah, there's one. Friggin' stalker fish. You're my natural prey. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Uh, I do eventually want to get the submarine, yes. But one thing at a time. Uh, oh, copper ore. Ha <laughs> ha! How many do I need? Oh, just the one. Excellent. Okay, there's our backup battery. Whoa. Let's get some food for the trip. And I'm going to need some extra water.
I like the little straw noise at the end. Okay. Where, where did my cursor go? Oh, it went over to my other monitor. I forgot that that's a thing. Uh, 31, we'll leave that. 12, we'll eat Gary. And so we have a cooked peeper, and we have two bottles of water. This should be okay. Let's also put away some stuff. Uh, like salt for now. I need to get rid of this. Metal salve, oh yeah. And, uh, okay, finally, let's go after this signal right here. Why does this take up space? Why does this take up space? 448 meters as opposed to 871. Okay, let's try this place right here. Go to the seat piece. Deep sea pits next to your base and listen. Huh. I'm gonna save real quick. And... We're gonna go after this thing right here first. Because it's interesting. Ooh. Titanium, titanium, copper, hmm, okay, well, my computer is actually having some real trouble keeping up. What does that symbol on the right mean? Hey, Hoof, what's that symbol on the right mean? Also, stop laughing at me. Oh, hey! Oh, there's a sea glide fragment. This is empty except for the sea glide fragment. Hmm. like a communication thing. So this was breached. So this shit ain't going anywhere. Okay. Pity. Um, that is towards the Aurora, which I'm pretty sure is radiation land. Okay, the slightest hint of radiation, I'm leaving. Whoa. Shit's deep around here, yo. Oh, it means I got a message in the life pod. Radiation detective, fuck that. What the hell is that in front of you? That is my life pod, honey. I hope. Kind of, Gonna kind of need it. Yeah, you weren't kidding, Hoof. This really goes through battery fast. I'm already at 85%. I haven't really traveled that far. I guess uh, lead line is what's next. I am really liking this sea glide, though. Fancy. All right, I have a message. I have a message. I'm popular. This is Life Pod 17. Coordinates attached. Looks like the forward Seamouth Bay collapsed around me. Don't attempt to rescue without laser cutters. You'll only add to the body count. Life Pod 17 out. Oh. Huh. Why are these making physical substances in, in me, in my inventory? Mmm, delicious. Why are they making? 
Hmm. Oh, did you tell me something about radiation? So, okay. Radiation suit. Radiation suit. I need lead. Motherfucking figures. There we go. Okay, and now we are radiationed up. Yeah. How do you like them apples? Apples are delicious. Oh, one of the abandoned... Well, that's too late. <laughs> so, okay. We've already done this one. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of them. I guess I'll equip Seamouth or uh, LifePod17 for now. We haven't seen four. That's kind of what we're going after now. And I guess I'm going to put you away in here. Not that I don't ever know when I'd ever use you. I still need silver ore. Because I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want a computer chip. To make a computer chip, I need silver ore. It's the only thing I'm missing. So. Let's look around in here for silver ore. Oh, could I could I scan that? Huh. Neat. Copper. Lead. Titanium. Run out of room. Copper. Let's eat someone. Old. Eh. Could have been worse. Am I out of Gary? I am out of Gary. Oh, God. Oxygen. Oxygen. There we go. And I don't even have to worry about the bends. Hey, more lime deposits. Titanium. Copper. We're getting a lot of copper and titanium. Okay, life at 17. Need a laser cutter for that. Life pod 4 will be the next one, I guess. You need at least 30 meters deep in a limestone chunk. You are full of good information. Uh, let us... One, two, three, four, five, six... All right. Let's make a titanium ore. I am hoping that I'll be able to expand that to titanium later, but for now, I just need to do this in order to save some room. And... Acid mushrooms, copper ore. Let's make some batteries. Mm-hmm. Why? Oh, they're spores. What are spores for? Ah, limestone outcrops. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits, noted, and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Hmm. So that's not going to give me silver. Got it. You've nearly explored everything in-game. Very useful. I shall exploit you as best as possible. Let's see. I'm... I've forgotten how to brain again. I've forgotten how to brain. Breed!
30 meters deep, huh? That means I'm probably going to have to go into the kelp forest for this. Oh, good. It does tell me what power level I'm at. Mm -hmm. Why do I, I still have this here? Hey, dragon zombie. No. No. And I'm so good at forgetting how to brain. Alright, speaking of brain... Alright, here's this. 17 meters. I'm halfway there. What are you? Oh, I've already got one. 30 meters. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper and start looking around. Not sure what this looks like either. Ah, here we go. 30 seconds. Titanium. Hmm. Hey, herds! Okay, the Sea Glide is fast becoming my favorite piece of equipment. I'm sure there are plenty of things ahead of me, though. That's LifePod 17. No, thank you. What are you? You're quartz. I don't need you yet. What are you? Copper. You're quartz? What else? Hey there, Toothy. 30 seconds. Titanium. I can't. I don't really need titanium. 30 seconds. Let's climb up. Grab some delicious air. <gasps> and back in we go. Okay, I'm like 300 meters. That's fine. That's safe still. No, I'll let you do your thing. Copper. Try going into the fa- <laughs> and looking for- Ah, yeah, sure, that's a great idea. Go into the place that can kill me the most. You're just trying to murder me. I know it. Although, you haven't steered me wrong so far, so. Let's get a drink of air. Hey there, Toothy. Now you said they kind of look like salt, or that salt looked kind of like them. So that kind of helps me out a little bit here. Hmm, some. What the? Where are you? Oh, there you are! Bastard. Battery charger. Ooh! All right. Actually, isn't there a cave nearby? Oh god. Oh god. Oxygen. Yep. Gotta admit, this is pretty... The cave is over there. <laughs> he says without pointing. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Have a little patience. There's no need to be on the fast track. Hey, here's some... Here's a boulder. Hmm. Don't mind me, little tri-fish. Just hold still. Oh, come back. Oh, it's a shuttle bug. 30 seconds. Adorbs. 
There's a sea cow. Let's see what else is going on. Swim. Oxygen. Oxygen. There you go. I'm looking at this. Battery charger. Ingredients unknown. I need another one of those. That would be very useful to me. Ooh. Oh, no. I've been in here so many times. This isn't it. That's not really a cave, per se. Here's a cave. Yep, I knew you were around here. There we go. Alright. In we go. There's some quartz. Thirty-nine seconds. I see an exit. A couple of exits. Good to know. And... Hmm. Okay. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. No kidding. I didn't know how bad. Uh, how many of... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy Simulator. Oh, it's a bad situation, but so are all the alternatives. Remember, 30 meters deep. Well, you know what this, I think we're going to go ahead and call it good for this video. And I kind of need a drink as well. Also, what?